Rock is making fun of The Bachelor and other like shows. In this show, you're coming on looking for love. And, of course, you aren't going to find it because most people are there for the wrong reasons. I am do find it funny that in this game, some players are there for the wrong reasons. While in real life, my argument would be every single person on that show is there for the wrong reason. And those shows are an abysmal failure and some of the worst trash television that out- exists out there. That's going to affect my review of the game, probably. Let's find out. In Love Struck, everyone is going to have their own role. The foreigner, the troublemaker, the free spirit, the one over 30, the sweetheart, the personal trainer. On the back, it has a bunch of actions for you, but you're also going to have some intentions. Are they cruel? Many people will be there for the right reasons. Some people are there for the wrong reasons. These will be the, the number of those. There's more right reasons than wrong reasons. But what happens at the end of the game, you want to be a couple with someone else who has the right reasons. Then you win. If you're by yourself, you don't win. If you're with someone who's with the wrong reasons, Neither of you wins. However, the bottom is viewership. If the viewership ever hits 10 million, well, the world as a whole loses because they've been watching this piece of trash. But also, uh, anyone who's there for the right reasons loses, and people for the right wrong reasons win. You play through 10 rounds of the game here, and there's villa rounds here. And when you have a villa round, each person's going to draw some cards, and then you'll do actions. You have to pay cards. The Most of the cards in the deck are either drama or love cards, and you pay these to do actions. You can couple up with somebody else. You can break up for free, steal the spotlight, start a rumor, diffuse the tension, or we need to talk, looking at your uh, thing. Then there will be some dates. One person is the main character. They'll send some people out on a date. Those people will all be playing a card mixed together. You'll reveal them. If they're all love, viewership goes down by one. But if there's a one drama in it, its viewership's going to go up by one. And then there's also special cards like this Call a Villa meeting. These can be played as a villa action to do all sorts of crazy things. That's it. That's how you play. Couple up. Or jump in a pool. I don't know. Even though I think The Bachelor and its related kiln are the trashiest of trash shows... I mean, I cannot imagine my wife wanting to marry me after I would sit there and agonize over decision between her and others. Like, oh, it's so hard. It shouldn't be hard when you know you love someone, but I digress. This is kind of corny and silly, and that's the only thing, actually. The corniness and silliness of it keeps me from trashing it more. I give it a five. It actually has some elements in it from Battlestar Galactica board game, of all things, where you throw in cards and see it. The problem is the game is too easy for the wrong reason people to win. The people there for the right reasons need to suss out as soon as they can who's there for the right reasons, and they're the ones they send out on dates consistently. But that's kind of tricky. Um, it, the person, the people who are there for the wrong reasons can kind of just start trashing the game, and there's not a lot you can do to stop them. You're not voting them off the island or anything. Uh, so that's a different reality show. Uh, it's fine, it's funny, it's silly, and it's theming, I suppose. I think some people are going to enjoy that, but the gameplay just really doesn't work that well. So this one is a 5 out of 10 love track. Also, it's covering great. (laughs) 